So guys, <laughs> I have to talk about this thing. Evil cursor attack. I, that's the first time I hear about this, but it makes so much sense, guys. So, I and I got... So, guys, those scammers, despite them being annoying as F, they are so smart. You gotta give them that. You gotta give them this. You gotta give them this. Just watch this. Just watch this, guys. So, you've seen... You've seen this before, guys. You definitely have seen this before, right? So, I'm going to restart this. You've seen this error before where the scammy site says, Okay, your website, your server is infected because a browser definitely knows what's on your computer, right? So, it definitely knows that is infected. So, hey, click here. Stay on this page if you want to learn more. Or, or call this number for so Microsoft so we can fix it. We heard there are so many, many of these scam videos on, on, on YouTube, so you can watch those. But the way they're doing that, okay, they're showing you this alert message, but look what they're doing. They change the cursor so that they confuse you. And, and so you, you, they make it just hard on you to close the page. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> So there's like an infinite loop going on there, and I'm going to talk about that, what's going on exactly, but look at this, let's watch it. So this guy, uh, he's tracking his mouse movement, right? So every time he click, you can see that there's a purple dot where he clicks, right? And uh, there is a feature in the browser that allows website hosts to change their cursor. Gaming, we've all played Dune 2000. I know. <laughs> so these kind of games change the cursor to be like fancy and stuff, right? So they give this feature to change the cursor. So yeah, it's all harmless. Oh, look at those scammers. Look at what they do. So here goes he goes to this page, and yeah, obviously it's scam. And the, the first thing you say, okay, I'm I'm gonna go out. Let's go back to safety. So look what they did. They changed the cursor, but look how evil this thing is. When you click, did you see that? Did you see that? The click, the click is happening. <laughs> here's the mouse and here's the click. It's just the image of the cursor is flipped, essentially showing you a different place where the X and Y, where the browser will take the effect of X and Y is completely flipped. So. It will drive you nuts trying to close the page because and, and it works not only in the page, it works on a complete browser, which I was surprised. Look at this. You cannot minimize, you cannot close, you cannot do anything. Why? Because you're clicking in the wrong place. And there is a loop that goes on on the background, an infinite loop. There's a reason for, for those scammers adding that. We're gonna talk about that. But but let's talk about this genius thing right so this is the cursor doesn't look like much but i'm gonna show you the actual cursor here that's the fake cursor the cursor should be right here but they flipped it <laughs> they flipped it in this side so now if you try to this is how the cursor will look like but when you click the effect takes i think right here so it's just they flipping the image itself so the cursor is all messed up. And Firefox fixed this. They fixed this bug. However, those scammers, they fixed it back in what? 2018 with a patch, right? But look at this with the scammers. It's been there since 2010. People knew about this stuff, but I just heard about it, to be honest. But then the, this evil as has been fixed in 2018 in a patch however those suckers those scammers to avoid the patch getting kicked in they start an infinite loop on their page to to overload the javascript main thread to have it always execute their code instead of the patches code which is the browser's code which kind of Makes me think, why is the browser code not taking priority on the user's code? It's me. 
I don't know. No, I didn't build the browser, but sounds like this is something you want to fix, right? You want the browser code to take priority on the user scope, but might be wrong there. But it's very, very interesting. They went around this bug by just starting off infinite loop and that's what we're seeing here as they stop it and uh, and even if you try to stop it guess what you cannot stop it and you will think that your machine is actually infected with quote and quote a virus because and i don't blame anyone who would think that i mean control alt delete if you're on windows will definitely show you that and says okay close the browser but most users, guess what? Don't they don't know how to do that? They're gonna restart the machine. They're gonna pop it up, but every time if that page became the home page and it set itself as a home page, the the users, most average Joes, will think their computer is is just messed up. So yeah, those scammers, those tech scammer support are really annoying, but you're gonna give them credit. This is deep engineering that goes behind this stuff just to, to, to get uh, some few pennies out of this idea. It's just, I'm, I'm just baffled by the engineering behind this. Yeah, it's evil. Well, again, I admit, Scout's quite smart. They trick users. They, they even trick the Firefox. <laughs> right patch and i think now now this is fixed i'm not sure how but probably by just disabling cursors but yeah you need custom cursors user yeah you cannot users have to have their own custom cursors to build games 3d reality stuff like that right you need those stuff but i just i i just, I just want to talk about this because it was just fascinating to read and yeah what do you guys think about that stuff I'm going to see you in the next one, you guys. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.